Now at five, a woman is hit and killed by a self-driving Uber car on an Arizona street. That has some asking, is this technology really ready for the road? Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ken Bassita. This evening, Uber is bringing its self-driving testing to a halt. They have suspended testing in four cities, Tempe, where the accident happened, San Francisco, Pittsburgh, and Toronto. KPI X5's Maria Medina has some late details on the crash and the fallout for all self-driving cars. Maria? And tonight we are learning the two names of the people involved in this crash that could change the self-driving car industry as a whole. We in Tempe, our hearts go out to the family and friends of the pedestrian that was struck crossing the street. This afternoon, Tempe, Arizona police released new details in last night's deadly crash involving a self-driving Uber SUV. The victim identified as Elaine Herzberg, 49 years old. Police say the Uber employee behind the wheel was 44-year-old Rafael Vazquez. It was in the autonomous mode at the time. Preliminary investigation showed that the vehicle was traveling at approximately 40 miles an hour. Our investigation did not show at this time that there were significant signs of the vehicle slowing down. Police say Herzberg, who was walking her bike, was not in a crosswalk when she went toward the self-driving Uber vehicle. She died at a nearby hospital. Uber released a statement saying, quote, our hearts go out to the victim's family. We are fully cooperating with authorities in their investigations of this incident. The companies hit the brakes on self-driving operations in all test cities, including Phoenix, Pittsburgh, San Francisco, and Toronto. Well, it has to be viewed as a setback. Russ Hancock is a tech analyst and the president of joint venture Silicon Valley. He says while this is a setback for the autonomous car industry, he doesn't believe it's the end. The regulators have been uh, slow to proceed. They've been extremely cautious. Now the regulators are probably feeling vindicated. Uh, now the folks in the industry are probably thinking, yes, we have more work to do. Arizona's governor welcomed Uber self-driving cars a year ago after California banned them for safety concerns. But in Tempe, one month later, an autonomous SUV was involved in a crash. They're subject to other errors, but they're not subject to the kinds of human errors that we make repeatedly on the road. And we have learned there is video of the crash. It is still too early to say who was at fault. The NTSB is involved in this investigation, and the California DMV says it is aware of the situation. Live in San Jose, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.